Our Savior, Plantation, Florida. That's a congregation now revitalized by the Holy Spirit with renewed energy and focus for what they're doing. I was privileged to serve as the lead consultant for their consultation weekend back in February of 2009. And this was our report to Pastor Nicholas and to our Savior congregation. What a joy it is to see that they're actually carrying out these five prescriptions that we had given them. You see, that's the goal for TCN. Now, each church is different, but the goal is always the same, to reach those who do not know Jesus as their Lord and Savior, especially in these United States today. Most churches are losing the battle with Satan. Jesus said we're to be the salt of the world and the light so that people can see Jesus. But too often we become highly internal in all the things that, that we're about in the church today. But Christ church is meant to be for other people. I'd like for you to consider a new strategy. I'm Ron Beal, coordinator for Transforming Churches Network for the Florida Georgia District. And TCN began in our district back in the fall of 2008 as a pilot project with five congregations in Greater Orlando. But it now includes congregations of various sizes, all with their own unique challenges, and in several locales. Why not consider TCN to awaken your congregation? Today's, to today's challenges about being Jesus Church right there in your community where God put you, and so you ask, well, is our congregation qualified to do so? Most likely, yes. But it will require a concentrated effort and a total reevaluation of, of your congregation's purpose. Why are you there? Jesus said it simply, to make disciples. It starts with the pastor and with the leaders and staff and eventually everybody to begin to refocus energies outward and not simply inward, to be an externally focused church in all that you do, as you heard about with our Savior Lutheran. Now, that's not always easy. And honestly, TCN involves some very deep change. So transformation means change. If things are not going well, something needs to change. We believe that TCN may be able to help you, not just to maintain, but that your congregation might grow as it seeks to under really understand the people you're called to serve. Our Savior Lutherans really starting to reach out. It's making a difference. People know who they are. People notice those things when a church is there. It'll require time, a lot of energy, a lot of people and $5 for each Sunday worshiper, and for 100 folks who attend, that's, that's still only $500. Florida Georgia District TCN will walk with you in this whole process. And friends in Christ, it's working. This is briefly how. There will be a pre-evaluation to see if you're ready for some serious transforming right now. There will be an extensive self-study performed and used by the team as they prepare themselves for a three-day consultation weekend at your place. And then later on, if you agree as a congregation that this is something you really want to do, we'll be there to walk alongside you. You'll have a trained TCN coach there to help the pastor as well as the leaders of the congregation. And your pastor will be joining a monthly peer group learning community so that he can grow in his leadership and his understanding of what it means to be looking outside. We'll be there for your church for at least a year to help, longer if necessary. If you'd like to learn more, contact me at 352-399. 5015 or call the district office and simply ask about TCN. More information is available about TCN right here on our own Florida Georgia District website. Just look up TCN there or the National LCMS website 
www.transformingchurchesnetwork.com. There's a whole world full of people out there, and they start right outside your walls. There are people like you and me who struggle, who hurt, and who one day will die. They desperately need to hear the message of Jesus. But Jesus and his church are probably not even on their radar screens at this point. We need to show them that we're there to make a difference and that we really care about their physical, emotional, family, whatever needs it might be. And as a result, they too might be led by the Holy Spirit to see Jesus as Lord and Savior and to follow Him. Thanks for your time, and the Lord be with you.